Fellas! Sorry. Choke artists! Sorry again. Wait till I get you back on Moron Mountain. Fuck, there's All never right. anything on. Uh -huh. We will have much more from the tiny community of Rachel, Nevada at 6.30. Reporting live, your Martell 13, Action yep. News. Get down on this. Oh. Oh. Guys, what is up? And back at you once again with some more reactions on the weekly. It is yo boy, Chin, that freaking mark. And speaking of reactions, if you like that kind of thing, I did some more of those last week. And odds are next week I'm going to be talking about the ones I did this week, and it's a whole continuous cycle, wouldn't you know? So here's the deal, guys. I'm not a dentist or anything like that, but I am qualified enough to let you know that Rings of Saturn has put out a brand new album, and holy hell am I ready to just fill my ear holes up with them sounds and vibrations. So with that being said, I think we're just gonna have to get right on into it. Track one is gonna be fantastic. I wanted to say what it was, but fucking Spotify had it all covered up. Pustles. Okay, so right off the bat, we are starting with some meat. I, just, I can't even, I can't even air guitar because I'm like, are you doing this? Are you doing this? Are you fucking, probably some of that. Oh my God, that is fantastic sounding. I'm going to have to fucking smoke some weed over this. When you get distracted from smoking the weed because the fucking jams are so beef. Ugh. Grumpy. Gonna have to turn off those text alerts. Oh, I am getting updates about Air Force Ones though, so. Because Saturn's just like, oh, hey, what's up? We heard you like notes, baby. I love when we just go from like super blast beaty to. <laughs> Gotta whip out the fucking doom hand. Dude, that part is so fucking cool. Does it require nine strings to play that riff? Side note, this fucking album cover is dope. I like the looks of that. I like the looks of that of which it has on my eyes. Jesus. Those fucking Euro blasts, so. Love it. Super technical, super shreddy. And then, boom, boom. Break down. Yeah, dude. Notes, notes. <laughs> Please continue. Oh my god. The actual the actualness that you're seeing there was face melting. Okay, well that was fantastic. Divine authority. <laughs> I'm just gonna download this for later right now. Just That sounds like some fucking video game boss battle type shit right there. The tech. The tech is real in this one. Ooh. Coming in with just the fucking epic notes. Standing on top of a mountain. Doing epic shit with my flowing hair. Ooh! Jesus! Ooh! Ex what? What's happening? I was under the impression they were getting grumpy and then it got more. Oh, I love how it's a breakdown and it's also not a breakdown at the same time. Ugh. I'm already so happy with this CD. Oh. 
There's some more of that fucking video game riff. I shouldn't even call this a reactions video. It's just Shin having a fucking brain aneurysm in his living room. And loving it. Dude, those notes that aren't supposed to be together, but they're shredding together instead. So choice. That was dope. Oh, Hypoder hypodermis glitch. Dan Watson, is that the old Infinite Annihilator guy? Oh, Enterprise Earth. My bad. I was referring to the original Infinite Annihilator vocalist, not fucking Dicky. I know Dicky. <laughs> They're like, yo, third track in. The drummer's got to take a break from some of his blast dog. His arm's gonna fucking fall off. Nope, never mind. He's ready again. <laughs> Those. <laughs> Those just like ugly but so gnarly sounding notes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The fucking... The pinched harmonics are too real. They're too litty litty titty titty. <laughs> You're dirty. You're fucking dirty. Oh. Where are we going with this one? Oh. Oh. We're getting dirty. The notes. The notes that rings a Saturn puts in my ears. Oh. Okay. I'm ready for more. Ooh. Just a bit of a feel change there. Oh man. This next song is called Bloated and Stiff. That sounds sick. It's like we're going out not at a million miles an hour, but we're still going to give you plenty of no. Dude, that was sounding pretty as shit. Bloated and stiff. Song I've been looking forward to for about a solid 30 seconds now. Yo, I like the way that fucking last song ended, though. I like the way that last song ended, though. It was pretty, but metal. <laughs> See? That's even still sounding a, a little more on the uppity. It's like if an earlier after the burial got way more notesy notes. Oh! Oh, just to remind you how gotta roll and how low tune the guitars are. Oh, and then some notes, too. That was... I won't even... Oh! I will take that. Oh my god. We're really... We're really living up to that whole best technical... death guitar player thing. A majig there. Pretty fantastic sounding. Just going back to that choice sounding ring. Just... I was gonna say going back to that choice rings of Saturn, and then I thought I heard singing, and I was like, no. You just heard beautiful notes, you didn't hear singing. Oh! I just like when they throw those little runs in there when you think they're just doing something else, and then. What do we got going on here? Hmm? Hmm? You're gonna get brutal, aren't you? Are you? Oh, no, you're gonna end on this. Okay, bloated and stiff. That was actually, that was kind of a little all over the place in like a good way. I like diversity in my triax. I like the uh, mixture of just like eerie 
creepy and notes that aren't supposed to go together we all have on this album so far. Uh, Tormented Consciousness. These are the kind of bands that give me reason to be like when people are just like, do you play guitar? I'm like, no. I understand the concept of how to do it. And if you need me to play like a dope Static X song, I fucking got you. If you're talking about this, no, I do not play guitar. Ooh. Oh! More grumpy! The fucking... Oh, they're breaking me. Those quick little fucking gallops, dude. Jumpy jump 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 to jumpy jumpy jump to jump 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 to jumpy jump. That's like some within the ruins ish type shit. But if the the guitar player from within the ruins did like fucking four lines of blow before writing any solos. Oh we're doing it again. The fucking we're just like building up more and more. Oh, love. That's so good. Oh, it's so good and so metal. Oh. Is it gonna get even higher? Oh. I wanted it to get a little higher, but that was disgusting enough that it's probably good that it didn't get higher. Wow, that was great. <laughs> this sounds cool. Coming back in on it. Oh, we're not coming back in on it. We're coming back in with the epicness is what we're fucking. Jesus, I fucking love when they do that epic shit sounding. That epic, no, I love when they do that epic sounding shit. That's the kind of shit that originally drew me to bands like the fucking Black Dahlia Murder. Because they were so brutal, but then they could still just Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll get back to that. What I was gonna say is the Black Dahlia Murder is fucking brutal while also just being super melodic. And then the Huss came on. Alien autopsies. Sick shreds. Nothing new. Mm. Something good that's always gonna be good about metal. Something good. Something good that is always going to be good about metal specifically is double bass and the patterns that it brings to us. Just and you hear that just being followed up on a bass drum? Like how are you gonna not just love that? Oh. Side note, um this song's good. Rings of Saturn is playing a show hmm, tonight in in terms of speaking when this video is released, that I'm going to be just there for, and they're going to be there talking about how this album just came out, it's going to be fantastic, and I'm looking forward to this experience. I think it's going to be like the fourth or... F I think it's the fourth time I've seen Rings. I saw Rings on Summer Slaughter. I saw them with Fit for an Autopsy. And then I remember I saw him one time come through a really tiny venue that they had no business playing at. Ooh, I think I saw him with Born of Osiris one time too. I can't keep up. There's been a lot of shows. There's been a lot of dabs in between shows as well. That's the kind of guitar solo that kicks in and it's just like, well, let me show you how it's done real fast. I think something that will never not be cool is shredding over acoustic guitars. It's so classic. I'm sitting here doing this and I'm almost positive I had a very similar reaction to when I heard this for the first time when I did the music video reactions video I did a while ago. That's the thing that happened. Maybe I'll do one of the things where it's like, here's that video. Watch this video though before you watch that video type thing. You know, you know. <laughs> I wish I could blast on the beats like that, dude. I would just...
do it all the time. The husk. Okay. This is Mental Prolapse, right? I saw Mental Prolapse when it first came out, and I was like, that's a dope song title. I'm gonna wait to listen to that song so we can get a full reaction. Oh, I already know why they called it that. On a dark winter morning and the sun to winter's night. Is it Dragon Force? This sounds epic, is what I know. This definitely sounds like a good space raid song, no doubt. Oh shit! I love when we stop songs just to regurgitate slightly. Oh my god. It was like getting a little too fast. So we're just like... Dude, if I would have known this song was going to be this dope, it would have been really hard to wait this long to listen to it. Good lord. Calm it down. I'm drinking a lot of water, you may have noticed, because I know my voice is going to go out. Because I'm also recording a video for fucking Mayhem's new album right after this. And honestly, that's just a shit ton of metal for one night. Like, let's be honest. But I'm ready. And similar to this mental prolapse, I invited it into my life. I just love what is some band's guitar solo is their verse riff. <laughs> so brutal. Mmm. 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 I think Mental Prolapse has taken the spot for the even more video game sounding track so far. Ooh! That's not the direction I thought you were gonna go in. He said it. Dude, I'm fucking stoked for this show. I love when I can see a band a multiple amount of times and just still be super litty litty titty titties to go and see them. I just learned about them like a month ago and they are just so fucking metal, so hell yeah. I've been mentally prolapsed and it was worth it. <laughs> Genetic inheritance. I'm guessing that it's something brutal you're inheriting. Oh, the double bass. <laughs> That was my impersonation. I kind of matched him there for a second. They're, uh, they're on that infinite annihilator level of just like being really brutal and then coming back like another. Dude, this album's metal. I know that part's probably a given. It's one of those albums where you can look at the album cover and that's like, that's a metal album. Mm. Jesus, give me the face melting. Everything about the drums coming back in there just made my dick hard. So I'm bending over all weird. That riff, dude, came back in from the beginning. I thought it was gonna drop out again, but I am so glad where that went. That creepy little, like, dollhouse shit that they're doing there. Okay. Gonna go super fast, gonna go boom boom. <sighs> Kenny. <laughs> Just, yes. The tone of their guitars is so perfect. Some like, weird flatlining sound in the background or whatever the shit. Face of the wormhole. Getting up in it. Oh, that just got unnecessary. I like that little echoing. <laughs> Gonna shred on these blast blasted beats. So when I'm at this show tomorrow and I'm just peeping the selection, when I'm at this show today tomorrow, and I'm peeping the selection of merch, I'm gonna be like, What's, what do I have here? What do I have to choose from? I saw the alien Baphomet with three tits. You'll get my money in a heartbeat if that one's available. Mmm. That's still dope. And 
what's happening on the drums. That was so sick. How it was like kind of slowly. Just being awesome, it's what it was. I'm gonna be so fucking dabbed for this next video. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's beautiful. Oh, speaking of, hello, gorgeous. Jersey Shore on bumps. They always had like a fuck ton of emotion behind those. If you're asking, does this guy really watch Jersey Shore? Your answer is, I'm, I, I just recently been watching it because I realized it's the best show in the world. But it's hard to explain why over shit that sounds so fucking uh, oh, oh. That was good. Ooh. I thought his guitar was gonna pop. Okay, this last one's a fucking instrumental, so God help me what the hell they're gonna do on this one. Give it to me. So give it to me. Notice I haven't tried pronouncing it because I'll make myself look like a fucking idiot more than I have already sitting here filming myself. All right, well, so far there's the first riff I can play on this album. This is like, hey, we're gonna play something and then immediately quadruple apply. Quadruple apply, look it up. What we're doing with it. Because it wasn't good enough. I'm not sure if you guys, can you see this? You can see this Jolly Rancher here. I've been looking at it the whole video and I want to take advantage of its benefits but I know with all this headbanging going on, it might not be beneficial. <laughs> Jesus, I love when it just gets so awesome it sounds like I'm shitting myself. I realize that's probably what it sounds to you people watching. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to call you you people. I love each of you individually. Rings of Saturn should make a song with animals as leaders and necrophagists. I don't think I'd be able to film it though, the reactions, because it would be a literal mental prolapse. I would shit my brain out. The amount of worth, so worth. We're like in our little in-between section of the song here and it's fucking sick. And I gotta get one more good dab in before this album's done. All the riffs on this album are like ones that are tiresome for me to even try and air guitar to. Cause it's just so fucking, like dude, you've spent some time honing in on your craft and I respect it. Oh, so dope. I love that feel change. And as the album fades out, as my beverage has came to a close, that was the newest Rings of Saturn album. And it was pretty much what I expected and wanted it to be. And I love when I'm just not disappointed by an album. It's, it's a good feeling. Um, yes. Yes. Will I listen to it again? Yes. Over and over again. Am I stoked to see Rings of Saturn again? Yes. Oh my God. Brandis Sacrifice is going to be dope. Enterprise Earth is going to be dope. It's gonna be Ope, it's gonna be dope. So it's Angel Maker. If you haven't checked out the new Rings of Saturn CD, go and freaking do that. There's a lot of good new music coming out. So your boy, Chin, that freaking Mark has gotta go and spread his wings around. I gotta frolic to some other albums real quick. So I hope you enjoyed this album just as much as I did. And let's just have fun. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. A like maybe. And we can just listen to more future jams when I'm not so hoarse. I just need to get some more water. I'll be good maybe. I made it this far, all right? I get to treat yourself. I'm gonna treat myself by treating yourself. Later. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.